Hey guys, it's Matt here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at Uniconverter and compressing and editing 4K and 8K video. Now something to consider is, yes, Uniconverter does 8K, it's definitely higher than expectations for 2020. It's a super high resolution, four times 4K, and not many people are using it. So you may think, why go with Uniconverter when you can get other platforms? Uniconverter works with a higher version of 4K as well, and it does support compression and conversion of cinema grade 4K. Now, cinema grade 4K is what's used when you're filming movies and what professionals use. It's filmed at 24 FPS and tends to be a resolution of 496 by 2160. The difference with 4K and UHD is that 4K that you see on your TV or on YouTube is slightly lower due to that 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And that tends to only be 3840 by 2160, so slightly lower. But if you do want to keep that quality and you have those extra pixels, Uniconverter can actually allow you to compress and keep the quality better than other platforms. One of the best things about Uniconverter is that you can convert 4K and 8K videos all the way down to native 1080p. And that will actually look better than standard 1080p video, even though it's downscaled. And Uniconverter's algorithms result in minimal quality loss. So now I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually make use of this within the software. Let's go and jump onto Windows 10. Okay, so I have Windows 10 running Uniconverter 12. Once you've opened it, go over to the video compressor tab, get your clip and simply drag it in. Once it's loaded in, it will show you some information like the resolution. This is full native 4K, like I mentioned earlier. It's also an MOV file. It's got some, it's got the video length and also the file size. Over here, we can click on the settings icon where it comes up with the file size, some formatting options, and also the resolution and the bit rate. We can simply go ahead and select the resolution we want. So I want it to keep it at 496 by 2160. And then we can go ahead and drag this slider to reduce the file size. That will go ahead and change the bit rate and use algorithms to basically keep the quality there, but reduce the file size. Once we've decided on the file size we need, we click OK. And then we can go ahead and simply hit compress. That will go ahead and compress the file and it will output to this location here. So now I'm just gonna show you how you can edit the video. So over in the video editor section, there's some options here for what you wanna do with the video. You can trim, add watermarks, crop, add effects, subtitles, and audio. So I do wanna add my video in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit add files. I'm gonna select my video from the desktop. It's gonna bring it into this editor here and then I have some options like trimming, which I can do. So that simply pops up with the video. I can go ahead and select where I wanna trim, hit the trim tool, and then I can simply drag to cut the clip a bit shorter and I can repeat the process. Then I click okay. It will then have the original clip and the new clip. You don't have to keep the original one, obviously. But we can also go ahead and crop the clip via this tool here and rotate it. And something really nice is that you have more options up at the top here, so you don't have to go backwards and forwards. So if you wanna add effects, you can go ahead and increase the contrast, or you can add some less saturation or increase the brightness. And um, we can also add an effect like a filter. So if you want something a little bit more vintage, you can go ahead and do that and hit okay. That allows you to add an effect. There's also a watermark option, so if you do want the video more personalized, you don't want people to steal it, you can add your own watermark so that it will say your branding. And there's also a subtitle option in case you wanna put text on the screen just to convey what you're saying or in case something's in a foreign language, you can dub it with subtitles. The last thing is audio, which just allows you to control the volume in case it's a little bit too loud or it might be too quiet so you can crank it up a bit. Once you've decided on all these options, you simply hit OK and then we can go ahead and hit start all. That will go ahead and export the video in the file type chosen with the editing that we have done. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was a helpful video. Please like and also subscribe. Keep up to date with the videos from Wondershare and Uniconverter and have a nice day.